Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Sunny Kuswan. Today I am going to provide the review of MSI GL65 laptop. So this is the laptop which I bought six months back and I am using it for my machine learning and deep learning journey. And I am going to provide like what is the pros and cons of this laptop compared to the other similar configuration laptops available in the market. So let me just move my camera towards the laptop and let's start reviewing it. Now you can see these are the two laptops on my desk and this is the MSI laptop which I bought six months back. Okay, so you can see that look and feel wise this laptop is very good. It has a very sharp design. If you just flap it down, you'll find on top of it, it has a two sharp designs, MSI branding and laptop size is also good okay so screen is a little bit big than compared to the other small size or thin pads so i really found it very useful okay so let's drill down on to the what kind of specifications so you can see that this is the model number gl65 leopard it has a steel series rgb cool booster and giant speakers it is also having the high res audio and msi's its own dragon center which where you can monitor your all cpu memory and gpus moving to other side you can see that the processor details so it has a i7 10th generation processor and nvidia geoforce rtx 2060 graphic card and that is a very good uh, graphic card for the, any deep learning or machine learning practitioners okay so let me just on this laptop so when you on this laptop it's all keyboard will be in rgb color format but as of now i have disabled it because i used to work in evening times and most of the times i feel it very dark so i just uh, disabled the rgb colors but if you are a game enthusiast then that will give you the very great feel while playing a game so or working on this laptop so design wise this laptop is very good now let's move to the second and most important point why i bought this laptop is the price point so i got this laptop in 97k INRs in India and it is a very good price point for this kind of laptop which has a very good specification of i7 10 generation and the graphic card of RTX 2060. I am also having one another laptop here Dell laptop which is also having somewhat similar configuration but it cost me around 130 to 140k okay so it means that msi laptops are compared to the other laptops with the same specification 20 to 30 percent cheaper than the, any other brand laptop which is providing the similar kind of a specification now let's talk about the build quality okay the so build quality is i would say the msi build quality is average uh, it is not that good compared to the other dale and hp laptops but it is not even uh, that much considerable point because i don't find any major issues plastic quality is a bit low compared to this one but it is good it is not like that uh, you will face any issues or something and that much we can compromise at this price point now let's move about the what are all pros inside of this msi laptop so first one is that it is a good looking laptop second one its cost is very reasonable at whatever the specification we are getting and it is coming with a graphic card like a RTX 2060. Now third one is it's a big screen so you can see that screen size is a very good one and uh, it is very good for you to work you don't even need a monitor if you just want to uh, go with this laptop because nowadays laptops are coming with a very smaller screens and thin pads on which you have to use a bigger screen to work on those laptops third one is its RGB key that is one kind of a USB of this laptop and after that i'll say its speaker also very good and its cooling system is a fantastic it cools very fast so now let's talk about what are all different cons okay so i have already talked about one cons like it has a like a poor quality build quality little bit uh, with compared to the other dell laptop or the other hp laptop so it is a kind of a con one considerable point second one it's pan noise so that is the one point uh, it, i find it very irritating because when you put a high load it cools down the laptop very easily but its fans making a lot of noise okay so let me just show you around so you can see that this is the back side of the laptop and you can see that there are three fans and when it is in high performance situation it actually makes a lot of noise okay so let me just put down this laptop one another kind of cons i would consider like this laptop's weight is very much high okay compared to this one this is a very lightweight if i just put it in a backpack and i can carry very easily but this laptop has a double weight compared to this other thin pad i'm having over here 
from a Dell okay so that is also I consider one a drawback and also when I bought this laptop I initial stage I faced issue with a GPU because its GPU was not working okay so I just I checked in its Dragon Center and I found that in any scenario it was not utilizing the GPU while I'm editing a videos or while I'm doing the deep learning so later on I come to know that I have to upgrade its uh, driver so it can start utilizing its uh, GPU so I updated the driver and then GPUs uh, started working so if you want to know that like uh, how to enable these GPUs on this laptop or how to install these drivers then let me know in the comment box I'll try to create a new episode on that okay so that's all my quick observations and uh, uh, review about this MSI laptop by using the last six months so this is a very practical review one more drawback I missed like when you go to the keypad okay sorry mouse pad and you can see the here the left click and right click if I just press the left key you can see it is making a lot of noise if I press right key so I don't find this is very practical because I, if I go to the Dell laptop and if I just press uh, I'm not getting any kind of noise okay it is very less okay but when I'm coming to MSI laptop it is making a lot of noise okay so that's all about the short details or short review about this MSI laptop at a bottom line I will just highly recommend this laptop if you are just looking for a good performance but if you are someone who is uh, more interested in touch and feel and you are getting irritated with the fan noise or the noise of these buttons like this then I would recommend you can go for the other laptops which can provide you the better kind of touch and feel and give you the more peace of mind. So that's all for today. Hope you like this information. If yes, then please hit on the like button. Subscribe to this channel to learn more about data science and machine learning. If you have any questions or doubt, then just mention to the comment box. I'll try to get back to you. Stay safe, stay happy. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.